Okay, so let's get going on these front brakes. The first thing we need to do is raise and support the vehicle so it's safe. The next thing we need to do is remove this hubcap. If you tap on these little nuts, you might hear a different noise. This one also has a little slot on it. I'll show you that. If you look at it like that, it's got this little slot. And that just tells you it's the one that has the nut in it. These hubcap holding nuts are an inch and an eighth. So the next one will be directly across from that. You'll also see a slot on that one. Once you remove both of those, this will be ready to come off. The next thing we're going to do is remove our lug nuts using a 21 millimeter socket. Remove your wheel. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is remove our caliper from the bracket. But to do that, I'm going to turn the wheel. It'll make it a little bit easier. Okay, so now we're going to remove these bolts right here using an 18 millimeter. Let's start that back in there. Take the caliper off of here. Okay. Grab your ABS wire and just separate it from the brake hose just so we don't get any tugs on it. Lift that up here. Put it right up here. So now it's going to be time to push in your caliper pistons. To do that, you want a tool that looks something like this. You can also use one of the other caliper tools that'll push it in, but this one works the best. Generally speaking, I like to use a brake pad. Just put it right in there. It just gives me a little bit of gap. I'm going to go with this tool. I'm going to press up against both of those pistons at the same time. That feels great. Get our tool out of here. Take a peek at this. Make sure you don't have any issues. This looks good. So if you look inside the caliper here, you might see an area that you want to clean up. Just use your little brush. Try to get off any of this crud that you can. That looks pretty decent. Now we're going to hang this so it's not putting any pressure on that brake hose. Let's get our other pad out of here real quick. Now we're going to remove our caliper bracket bolts using a 21 millimeter. Put back in a couple threads here. Remove the bracket. So now we're going to remove these nuts right here, and that just holds this extension piece on. So to do that, I'm going to use a 21 millimeter socket, just like that, an extension right through the hole. Get that off of there. There it is. Do the same to all the rest. All right, now that we have all those off of there, you can either spray this with a little bit of penetrant if you feel like you need to, or just give it a couple loving bonks from the backside. You can see it's starting to separate. Grab your rotor, remove that as well. Okay, so let's get this cleaned up. You can either use a wire brush or a tool that looks like this, or both. Try to make sure you get any raised areas off of this. That's the important part. So if you look up on top of the knuckle, you might see a mess up here too. Make sure you clean that off. You don't want this falling behind your rotor. We're just going to clean down the area. Okay, so right here we have our old rotor, and right here we have our brand new rotor. I just want to show you that you want to make sure that you have the same height here. That's for the, uh, the hat depth. Next, you want to put it on top, just like this. Make sure you have the same diameter. That's perfect. And then lastly, just make sure you have the same amount of lug holes. That's also very important. So now I'm just going to use a little bit of copper never seize. Go around the hub area here. I'm going to take my rotor, and you're going to notice I'm going to put it on backwards. That's just for a second, just so we can clean the braking surface. nice. So now we need to clean up this mating surface right here. This is the area that's going to go along the rotor. Once you have that so it's nice and smooth, turn it over and continue on to this side.
Okay, so now we're gonna reinstall this back onto the vehicle. Now that's nice and clean. Time to torque these hub extension nuts right here. I'm going to use a crayon, mark the first one that I'm going to work with, and then I'm going to use a nice long bar, just like this, and that's going to prevent this from turning. Let's torque these to 165 foot-pounds with our 21 millimeter socket. Torqued. So it's time to clean up the bracket. What we need to do, remove the slider, take off this boot right here. We're going to clean up this area and make sure you have no rust inside here. You can do that with something as simple as one of these. Try to scrape it, a little brush, or if you have a wire wheel, that'll probably work much better. I'm going to bring it to the wire wheel, get it cleaned up, but first I'll remove the other one, get that one going too. We'll get these cleaned up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So these look great. As you can tell, along this edge right here, it's very clean, which is good because you need to make sure you have a good surface for this boot to ride on so no moisture gets in there and seizes these up. It's very important. At this point, we need to clean these out. Tiny bit of parts cleaner. I'm just gonna put this in here. Just take that boot, roll it all around. Try to get off any of that, in, that gunk inside there. That looks pretty great. Same to the other one. Just double check, make sure they're not torn or worn. This looks great, we'll set these aside. Let's move along to continuing the, with the bracket. You can take these off, just like that. At this point, you need to make sure you clean up this area right here. That's where those tins ride, and it's also where the pads are going to ride. If you have buildup here, your pads are going to get frozen in the bracket, and it's going to cause major issues down the road. Safety glasses on. <laughs> that one looks pretty decent. Let's do the same to the rest. You could also use one of these brushes if you felt as though you had to. At this point, we're going to continue on to cleaning out the part of the bracket where the slider is going to ride. You want to make sure you get any gunk out of there you can. Some parts cleaner. And these little board brushes. If you have any buildup along this lip right here, you need to make sure you clean that as well. That's also where the boot's going to ride for the caliper slider. That looks great. Let's do the same to this one. All right, so now we're going to grab some synthetic molly grease here. I'm going to grab one of my sliders, and it's important to make sure that you get it up inside the lip right up here where the boot's going to ride and also where the boot's going to ride on the caliper bracket, okay? So I'm just going to go a little dab up there like that, and then I'm going to coat the rest of this just like this. You don't have to necessarily get the whole thing because once you start spinning it around, it'll coat up in there. And definitely make sure you get this lip. Keep the moisture out of there, go like that. Give it a couple spins. Slide it in here. Give that a couple spins as well. Make sure the grease is covering everything. Beautiful. Do the same to the other side. It's time to get the bracket mounted back on here. I've got my bolts. I used a tiny bit of thread locker. Your prerogative. Bottom these out. Torque these bolts to 203 foot-pounds. Torqued. We've got our brake pads here. One labeled inner, one labeled outer. Let's get them installed on the vehicle. Mm-hmm. Put that in. Inner and outer. Beautiful. Let's get our caliper down from here carefully. It's a good idea to put a little bit of grease along the piston, right where the pad's going to ride, and also on these forks right here. That's going to help with vibration dampening and noise reduction. Bring your caliper around. Start in my bolts here. Let's torque these to 55 foot-pounds. Torqued. Make sure you have your ABS wire re-secured to the brake hose. Just make sure you have your braking surface cleaned down in case you happen to get any grease on it. Let's get our wheel up on here. Got a lug nut. We're just going to bottom all these out and then we'll torque them to manufacturer specifications. <laughs> torque 
Torque these to 165 foot-pounds using your 21 millimeter socket. Get this cover back on here. You have the area for your valve stem. Snug those up. Now let's carefully pump up our brake pedal, nice and slow. Feels nice and firm. Double check your brake fluid. 